Okay, great. So welcome folks for our uh, Sakai trivia contest. Um, we like to do this every year and just sort of test your knowledge of Sakai trivia. And, uh, and we have our reigning champion, Christina, in the room. So you guys are going to have to have your work cut out for you to, to beat her. Um, but we are giving away prizes for first, second, and third place. So um, you can you can place in any of those top three categories and still get a prize. So um, in order to join, we're actually going to be using Poll Everywhere for trivia today. So um, you can go to this link here. Um, pollev.com slash Wilma Hodges 297 or you can scan this QR code um, you can play either on the computer or on your phone whichever you prefer and um, once you go there you should see like the, the initial page for the trivia so let me give people just a moment Oh, thanks, Cindy. She she pasted the URL there in the chat. <clears throat> All right, so let me go ahead and hit play. And, oops. I need to take it over to the other window first. Okay, so <clears throat> the trivia is based on both um, whether or not you answer correctly and how quickly you answer correctly. So um, the faster your response time, the better your score. So we'll go ahead and start off now. You've got, um, there's 20 questions total. So here we go. How many annual Sakai virtual conferences have there been, including this year? And so there are your answer choices. Go ahead and select your answer. I've given each of uh, the questions like 10 seconds. All right, so let's see how folks answered. And it looks like most people got that right. How about half of the group answered correctly. And it looks like the Alexandra's in um, in first place. Although everybody looks to be tied, so you guys were probably pretty close in time on that. In what year did the Sakai project officially begin? All right, let's see how people responded on this one. Okay, it looks like 58% got the correct answer there. And Christina's in the lead. She's usually the one to beat. Uh, but we have a lot of folks racking up some points there. So it's gonna be a tight race, it looks like. Approximately how much money has the Sakai Virtual Conference raised to go towards Sakai development over the last decade? Okay. And 63% got the right answer, which is 100,000. It's actually a little more than 100,000. So. Um, let's see who has moved up the leaderboard now. Okay, Donna Schuler moved up to the top. And then we've got, got Dr. Thunder. I have a suspicion that that might be Matt Jones, but if, if you place Dr. Thunder, you're gonna have to tell me who your real name is. <laughs> All right, what was the what is the latest supported release of Sakai? We've got a whole versions to choose from. All right, most of you got 30, well, actually not most, most people 
hooked uh, 23.1, but that one's actually not released yet. Um, we are still, um, our latest release is the .o version. The .1 should be out soon, but it's not officially released quite yet, so. Um, Sen Young moved up in the leaderboard. Very nice. All right, what is the Sakai girl? All right, so the correct answer on that was all of the above, which most of you guys got. Um, so that's cool. And Senyon re retains the lead, but it looks like Amanda has moved up, and so has um, Dr. Thunder, and Christina's up in the top four again. So definitely seeing some movement here in the leaderboard. What year did the Sakai Foundation and Jazzig join to form the Aperio Foundation? A little bit of Aperio history for you. All right, that was 2012. So it looks like that one was almost evenly split among all the choices. So. Yeah, widespread on that one. 2012 was the year. All right. Looks like Dr. Thunder's moving up and Jennifer made it into the top three. Who is currently the executive director of the Imperial Foundation? Right. Most of you got that one. Um, we had a presentation from Patrick this morning, so some folks were paying attention. Ian Dolphin was our previous um, executive director. Um, Patrick took over for him recently. So uh, kudos to you who got the, good, uh, got the right answer on that one. And Sen Young is up in the lead again, followed by Dr. Thunder and Jennifer L. Under what software license model is Sakai distributed? Okay. Uh, just under half selected the correct one, which is the education community license. It's actually similar to Apache, but um, but a little bit more open. Um, so ECL is the Sakai license. Dr. Thunder moves into the lead. Sakai is mostly written in which programming language? All right, that would be Java. And a little over half selected the correct answer on that one. There are portions of Sakai written in other things, but the predominant language is Java. Not much change there in the leaderboard. Approximately how many lines of code does Sakai have? All right, 1.3 million. Um, 2.4 million is actually the, the number of lines for Moodle, interestingly enough. Um, I thought that was interesting that they had more lines than we did, but 1.3 million, it, it's approximate um, for Sakai. All right, looks like our leaderboard stayed static pretty much. 
Which Sakai tool has options to use templates, selective release, prerequisites, and collapsible sections? All right, lessons, almost everybody got that one. So good job. We haven't even had our lessons session yet. <laughs> Uh-oh, Dr. Chuck moved up in the, the third place there. Which Sakai tool has options to enable upvoting, reactions, pinning, and tags? All right, that's the new conversations tool that has those features. So if you haven't checked it out yet, um, you can try it out in the conference site. All right, looks like uh, still got the same. Oh no, Jennifer moved up. Jennifer moved up in the leaderboard. What is Sakai Plus? All right, most people got that one right too. So either you'd already heard of it or you're paying attention this morning. Um, it is an integration. Wow, we're breaking into the thousands here for points. What tool is used to track Sakai issues, bugs, and feature enhancements? All right, that is JIRA. And we just came out of our JIRA session, so everybody got that one right. Which Sakai tool allows users to select their preferred pronouns? All right, that is in the profile tool. So most people got that one correct. It does show up in the roster, but you actually select it in the profile tool. So that one was a little tricky, but most people got it. All right, Dr. Thunder, Jennifer, Chuck, and then Christina. She's kind of breathing down the neck of the third place there. Okay, which free community contributed tool allows you to upload, score, and track interactions for SCORM objects in Sakai? All right, that is SCORM player. SCORM Cloud is actually a paid subscription to a third-party service, um, but the free one, the con community contributed one is SCORM Player. And you SCORM it, I just made up, so, <laughs> as, as well as SCORMable. <laughs> All right, Shen Young moved up a little bit. Sakai is an open source, dot, dot, dot. All right, everybody got that one. That was a, an easy one. So um, we all know it's an LMS.
Sakai supports which of the following standards and specifications via core or contributed tools? All right, so all of the above was the correct answer there. 83% um, of you thought so, so that's good. All right, Christina moved into the top three. She's making her run. <laughs> In Sakai 23's new portal UI, where does your list of pinned sites appear? vertically on the left side and everybody got that one right. So, da da da. Our first place winner is Dr. Thunder and uh, Dr. Thunder, please let me know in the chat what your actual name is if you haven't already. Um, <clears throat> Jennifer L, um, let me know your, your last name in the chat as well, just so I make sure I get the right person. And um, Christina is in third place. So thank you guys for playing. You guys all did really great. And um, appreciate you uh, coming back early for the trivia. And we're actually running just slightly over time. So I'm going to hurry up and hop over to the next room, um, which is our lesson session. And that begins at, they have already started. Yeah, that was supposed to start at one. So we'll start right away as soon as I get over there. So I'll meet you there because it's a different room. So see you in a moment.